Hi friends, today we're going to read the story Isabel's House of Butterflies. And this is a story that I would have read when we were in school, but unfortunately we can't be together, so I thought I would make, make it one of my read-alouds that I post. And then I'm going to show you how to make tortillas afterwards, because Isabel... Uh, makes tortillas in the book from scratch and so I have a recipe that I wanted to show you about making tortillas from scratch. Um, so let's get started. Isabel's House of Butterflies. I am Isabel. I am eight years old and I have my very own tree. An oil. It grows outside my window like a tall green church touching the sky. I call it La Casa de las Mariposas, the House of Butterflies. Where I live in Mexico, in the mountains, many oyamos grow. Sometimes when people are hungry, they chop them down to sell their wood. But we could never do that. In autumn, or fall, another name for fall, butterflies come to roost in my tree. That means they come and they sit on the branches in the tree. Papa says when it gets cold in the north, they fly a long way to find a warmer place. Over mountains, over rivers, over fields, they fly. They have no map, but they know where to go. Then Mama's eyes shine with tears. Es un milagre, she says. She thinks it's a miracle how they always return to la casa de las mariposas. Uh, if you are reading with somebody or if you're just by yourself, turn and tell them or tell me so far who are the characters in this story? Who are the people in this story so far that we've been introduced to? There are three of them. Now it's autumn again. The butterflies are back. So many that we can't count them. Not all of us together. Before the sky was blue, now it's orange with wings. Before the path was just dust, now it's an orange river. There is no place to walk, so we must step on butterflies, and butterflies step on us. They step on everything, even on our pigs. Before, my tree was empty, and now not one branch shows. La Casa de las Mariposas is nothing but butterflies. I am so happy. I feel as light as a butterfly, and I dance as if I am. All right, next question. How do you think Isabella is feeling? How does she feel about her OML tree? Turn and tell someone that you're reading with, or you can just tell me through the, through the computer or tablet. But if you're not sure, you should look at her picture here. This might help you with your answer. Our house is just one big room for everything, where we eat and play and sleep. And each day while I sweep our room, I look out the window at my tree to see the butterflies. While Mama and I pat tortillas side by side, I forget to pat because I'm looking at my tree. Isabelita, Mama says, las tortillas. But I hear a smile in her voice when she tells me, I'm not the only one who loves the butterflies. Sometimes Mama also stops patting. Then I say, Las tortillas, Mommy! And I smile for real, for real, and she laughs. I'm gonna put the book down. So uh, they pat their tortillas back and forth, which is what I'm gonna show you how to do today when we make our tortillas. That's one of the ways that you can do it, and that's how Isabella and her family have to do it. Sometimes I see our neighbors looking at my tree. They love the butterflies, I think. Even our pigs lying in the cool dust under the porch love the butterflies. They love to eat them as many as they can. Sometimes on his way to weed his plot of beans, that means his garden of beans, Papa gazes at my tree. As you can see, he's gazing at it. He loves it too, and he is grateful, happy, for the tourists that it brings. Tourists are people who don't normally live where Isabel lives. So we all live in San Lorenzo, and even though Disneyland is still in California, when we go to Disneyland, we are, we're like a tourist there because it's not where we're normally from. And tourists, for Isabel and her family, means money. So perhaps we can get by. All year, 
is hard, but this one is mean. The rain has not rained as before, and the beans are few, and the corn is stubby and tall. Es un tigre, says Papa. It's been a tiger of a year. One day, Papa herds all the pigs into the village to sell. The pigs don't want to move. They are happy eating butterflies in the yard. Still they go, all snuffle and grunt. They're big, warm boulders, churning the dust, shouldering each other along. Churning the dust means they were making the big dust clouds, and they were shouldering each other because they were so close together. The dry weeks pass, and at night, Papa and Mama start whispering like dry grass. They sound worried. Money is scarce, me neither, Papa says. The pig money will not last long, and tourist tips are not enough. We must eat. What else can I do? Not the tree, Mama's voice trails off. What do they mean, I wonder? Now I'm worried, too. And I'm restless. I mean, she's moving all around in her bed. Night after night they whisper, and night after night I flop on my petate like a broken butterfly. What are Mama and Papa worried about? Tell someone you're reading with, or you can tell me. What, are they, what do you think they're worried about? One morning, at first light, I see something gleam in our room. I squint my eyes. It's Papa's machete. As bright as a slice of moon, slowly he churns it in his hands, and then he speaks softly. He sounds sad. It hurts my heart, he tells Mom. Me duele mi corazón. But I must cut down La Casa de las Mariposas. I have to sell the wood. Uh, this family is feeling. Friends, tell your families how you think the family is feeling, and you can use the phrase, the family is feeling, and then tell me. No! A voice splits the stillness like a machete blow. It is mine. Find another tree! The others are so far away, said Papa, and they're not mine. I am crying, and I'm choking with tears. I'm sobbing. No, no, no. And we are all sobbing then. Papa says, Isabelita, I love this tree, but I love my family more. We cannot eat butterflies. I close my eyes, and I'm hoping that this is a dream. And in my head, I hear a machete ring. I see a tree, a big tree full of butterflies falling. I go outside and I sit on the butterfly path and I look up at Las Casas de las Mariposas and the sun is higher now. Already Mama is on the porch patting tortillas, making a slapping kind of music. Slowly the shadowy curtains of sleeping butterflies catch the light. They shine in a bright orange flashes like a flickering fire. As the sun warms them, they flutter to life again. And then I feel something on my arm. Soft, so soft, a butterfly resting, pumping its wings. Pump, pump. I think of butterflies. Slap, slap. I think of tortillas. I think of the tourists, too. As light as, light as wings, an idea floats into my mind. My friends, what do you predict her idea might be? What do you think the butterflies and their wings and the slapping and patting of tortillas made Isabel think? What could be her plan? Mommy! Papi! I shout! Ya sé! Ya sé qué hacer! My words pour out like a stream of butterflies. Papa will bring the tourists like always. Then you and I, Mommy, you and I will set up a small stand, un puesito, by my tree. And we will pat tortillas side by side. We will shape them with wings and we will toast them on the comal. And we will sell butterflies, mommy. And we will make money too. Was that one of your ideas? Did you think that she was thinking to sell tortillas to make money so they wouldn't have to cut down her tree? Let's see. Mommy and I make masa. That's corn dough for tortillas. 
Lumps of masa lie on the table in piles like small hills. Where we work, the air smells sweet, sweet with corn. Now we pat tortillas side by side, but I forget to pat tortillas because I'm watching the path. Isabelita mama reminds me, las tortillas, and she hugs me. She smells like sweet corn too. While I work, I am not looking at butterflies. I am looking for tourists, hungry ones. I hope that many will visit my tree. I hope they will buy many butterfly tortillas. Then maybe Papa will not have to cut down La Casa de las Mariposas. My heart flutters. I am so excited and I'm scared. I look down the path and I hold my breath and I hope. I wonder if they're going to come. All right, friends, that was Isabel's House of Butterflies. And now I'm going to show you how to make homemade tortillas. It only takes four ingredients, and I have them here. You're going to need four cups of flour, one and a half teaspoons of salt, one and two thirds cup of hot water, and a fourth cup of vegetable oil. Uh, for today's lesson on making tortillas, I did cut the recipe in half uh, just because it's only a family of one right now, uh, me here by myself, so I'm make, just going to make a few. But definitely you can always make it bigger or make it smaller. All right, I'm going to move the camera now over to my kitchen area where I cook, and we're going to make some tortillas. All right, there's going to be some tools, some tools you need in order to make these tortillas. You're going to need a mixing bowl. You're going to need a mixing bowl. You're also going to need all the ingredients. So you're going to need the flour and the salt and the water and the vegetable oil. Um, you're going to need a whisk to whisk the dry ingredients. And then you can do one of two things. You can either do it the fun way and get your hands really messy and use your hands to mix the ingredients, or you can use a spatula. I've had fun mixing the ingredients with my hands already, so now I'm going to use a spatula during this time, all right? So we're going to begin. Oh, you also need a comal. This is what Isabella and her family used, a comal. If you do not have a comal, which is okay, you can always just use a regular pot, and you can make your tortillas in there, all right? So I'm going to turn my comal on to medium-low to get it nice and warm while we make our dough. All right, and now I'm gonna mix my ingredients and then you're not gonna see my face anymore because you're gonna see me make the dough and make the tortillas. All right, so goodbye for now. All right, let's turn this way. All right, my comal is heating up and here's my bowl. First, I'm gonna add all my flour. And then I'm gonna add my salt and I'm gonna use my whisk to mix it all together. Once it's all mixed, you're gonna put your water. Now you want hot water, but you don't want it to be boiling, especially if you're going to use your hands to mix it. So you're gonna pour in your water. Now if you have too much water and your dough is really sticky, then you need to put more flour. And if your dough is really dry, then you need to add more water. So if it's too sticky, more flour, too dry, more water. And you're just gonna mix, 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 mix till it's all mixed up. This dough could use more flour. See, it's watery. So I could add, I'll be adding flour until it gets to be more of a dough. This is a little too watery. But I'm not gonna do that with you now because that could take a lot of time getting the right measurement. So what I have done is I have already prepared some dough. And it's in this bowl over here. All right, this is what your dough should look like. A nice big pile, when you rub it, you might get some flour on your hands but you're not gonna get any dough on it. All right, and once you have your dough, you're going to take off a piece. I'm gonna put a little extra flour on it and you're gonna pat. You're gonna pat so you can use nice, whoop, nice strong hands and pat. Some people have a tortilla press and that's how you make a tortilla nice and flat. 
But if we're using our hands, you can also just push it out. You can also just push it out and make it nice and flat. And then when your tortilla is flat like you would like it, you're going to put it either on your warm comal or on your or in your pot in your pan and you're going to let it cook. All right, I'm going to make two. I'm going to make two. And when they're all cooked, um, sometimes I like to eat it with just a little bit of butter. Sometimes I like to eat it with a sweet jam, or you can just eat the tortillas by yourself by themselves. Um, when you're cooking the tortillas, though, something to remember right now, this is a little bit, well, looks white. And when it's cooking, it's going to turn clear. So when it turns, when it starts to turn clear, that's how you know it's cooking all the way through and you can flip it. All right, so we're going to let those cook and I'll cook the rest later. I'm now going to share with you the finished product which I have over here. I made some before. All right. And when they're done, I like my tortillas nice and crispy. So I have three here that I made nice and small. Like I said, you can eat them by themselves, so you can put a little bit of butter or sweet jam. Um, these look like they're ready to flip. Oop. So we can flip them and keep cooking. This could be a fun activity that you do with your families. <gasps> Let me get a song. There we go. And I'll give you a cheers to tortillas. I hope you enjoy. Until next time. Bye, friends.